Well, g'day, Glab here. Welcome back and thanks for checking back in. Today's ride heads us out with our first stop at Calbar for a quick coffee and then on to the beautiful near Mogra Dam. From there, we'll head up and over the picturesque Queen Mary Falls where we'll climb about 4,200, 300 feet on. From Queen Mary Falls, we'll held Head down the other side of the range to Kalani where we'll stop for lunch. We'll then leave Kalani and head over the old settlers route back to the top of Cunningham's Gap where we'll head down the Great Divide and end up in Arachula. Arachula will throw a left hand turn Clyde and head back to Rosevale, Rosewood and then home. All up today we'll do just over a little over 350 kilometres and spend about four and a half hours actual saddle riding time. This is a really, really schmick ride, this one. Rolling in to Big crossing here. Spoke about this before. Nothing much here. Going to throw a ride up here to Calbar, where we'll stop for a coffee on this brisk morning. Approaching Kalbar, which is a really nice little country town, very picturesque. I'm told that it's attracted a lot of city money, given it's not that far from Brisbane and people like to come out and pretend they're farmers on weekends. Nice spot. So we're at uh, Mugra Dam here, um, just throwing the drone up, beautiful day. My mate tells me he's got a boat that this is the only lake dam in Queensland that has an unlimited speed limit. So if you want to run your uh, speedboat across the top at 100 miles an hour, you can, which is great. Apparently the rest of Queensland, the dam or lake limits are uh, 40 knots, still not a bad speed mind you. A lot of people out today having fun, bikes everywhere. The Mulgra Dam is located above the Fassifern Valley. The primary inflow to this reservoir is the Reynolds Creek, which is a tributary of the Bremer River. Construction started in 1959 and was completed in 1961, and it's a central catchment area for the Worrell Valley Water Supply Scheme. The concrete dam structure is 38 metres, which is 125 feet in old language high, and 219 metres or 720 feet long. It holds back about 84,000 megalitres when at full capacity. It's got a catchment area of about 228 kilometres. 
and the dam creates a Lake Mulga with a surface area of about 827 hectares or 2,040 acres. The dam supplies drinking water to the towns of Boona and Ipswich, although the main user of the water from the dam is the Swan Bank Power Station. It also supplies a bit of irrigation water to the local area for farm crops, etc. That was diesel all over the road there. Um, we've had a couple of spots up here uh, where at Queen Mary Falls where we've hit big diesel patches, very, very lucky. So we just stopped here for a coffee. The boys are pissing themselves laughing. Why is? Because down at Mugger it was 24 degrees, so smart ass here took the liner out of his jacket, put on his shorty gloves, etc. etc. Now we're up in the mist and the fog. Uh, and it was 12 degrees, so a wee bit chipper, but there you go. So the boys are still social distancing here, and brought their own coffee, and of course I didn't. Goose. <laughs> Absolute goose. <laughs> a lot of people around, as mentioned earlier. Thanks for the coffee, boys. Cheers. <laughs> Oi, giddy up.
We are travelling between Arachula and Rosevale. We've come across this dirt road. It's not unexpected. We knew it was going to happen. We've got about six kilometres of it. But I've got to tell you, it's a pretty good road. It's as smooth as, not too much dust, not a problem. yippee ki -yay. On the Centenary Highway, nearly home, what a great day's ride, very picturesque, good weather except for up on the top, 353 kilometres, four and a half, five hours in the saddle, full day's ride, happy days, and remember people, life is ever so short, live life today.